guess who went to sleep fully clothed in their makeup again? This girl. Yeah, it keeps on happening. I got to stop watching Squid Game before bed because there is something in me that makes me believe. That, oh, that was way larger than this. That makes me believe that I can finish the whole episode before I go to bed. Not the whole episode, the whole series before I go to bed. And I'm already, I'm always um, proven wrong. That's what happened again. So yeah, I just realized I've got to stop doing that. Anyway, uh, today I'm off to have lunch with one of my really good friends. You might know her as the Drive Time Genius Girl. That's my really good friend, Miata. I haven't seen her. Wow, the last time I saw her was before the pandemic. Like two years. We're having a vaccinated brunch. And I'm really excited. Because, you know, it's my friend. I love her. I miss her. And, you know, we've been doing the right thing. <sighs> but it's nothing like seeing your gal pals in person. So we're gonna have a catch up brunch, then I'm gonna come back, finish Squid Game, because I realize I'm gonna to have to finish that show if I want to get anything done in my life. And uh, yeah, so that is my top priority today, to finish that show, because it is literally taken over my weekend. My sleeping pattern is off. I have not, um, oh, too much. I have not done my workouts for the last two nights since I started watching that madness. And yeah, I got to reclaim my life back. So that is on the agenda today, along with, you know, running some errands, cleaning my room, finishing my hair, because I was supposed to do that last night. Why didn't that happen? Squid Game, help a sister out. So that is on the agenda for today. Finish Squid Game. Oh, I also have to finish my, I have another audition that I have to get out. So I got to do that. Um, so that might be before Squid Game. So Squid Game, no audition, Squid Game, brunch audition, Squid Game. Um, I may run some errands. I may not. We will see. I got to finish Squid Game. I just have to. Have to finish that. And I want to clean up, do some washing, and update my calendar to knock off, you know, take off some of the things that I have done and add or you know put stuff in like the emergency or like highlight stuff that needs to like get on that i need to get on like absolutely right away all right let's powder the face well not really the face the t-zone because that is where mother nice that is done let's put on our gloss Hey. Mm. Did I go too far? Absolutely do it. This is uh, Too Faced Fairy Tears. Of course, of course I have something, a lip gloss called Fairy Tears. Always though, a little gold in the center, cause why not? And this is uh, Too Faced Melted Gold. I love it. Love it. Chocolate Girls, get it. Well, any couple girls, but you know. Looks great on us. Ugh. Looks great on us. All right, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. My hair still not washed, so I threw it in a ponytail. Because when I come back... That is something that I have to hop on right away because my hair is at the point where like it's beyond dirty at this point. Now it's starting to hurt. Natural girls know when that hair starts to hurt, baby, it's time. It's time. Alrighty. Look at it. Something. It's something, but I got something for you, baby. I got something for you. I've been waiting to wear this. I got this for Christmas. No, for my birthday. And I was never, oh, it's cute. I've never been able to wear it anywhere because of the pandemic. <laughs> like, where was I going? Where was I going? And you know what? A lot of people think that I do this style because my sister is like, oh, you look like how you did on picture day. That's like starting to be your signature. 
and it's actually not a signature. I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but I can't pull my hair back from here. Like the, these points are so sensitive that they hurt. So when I pull them out, it's like my scalp is relieved. So that's why I do that. It's not a signature. I'm not trying to get back to seven year old Nikki, although she was adorable. <sighs> it's just painful. I was gonna wear a bigger earring not bigger than a hoop, but I was going to wear like a more, I don't know, should I wear just a stud? I think I'm going to do a stud. Yeah, we're going to do a stud. So yeah, we're going to do a cute little stud because this is the star of the show. This, yeah, yeah, that's it. This is the star of the show. I wish I had my Fendi purse. There's this Fendi purse that I've been looking at. It's like, what, almost $3,000? Baby, I'm going to get it. Hello, Corna. Hello, Corna. I'm going to get that bad boy. If not for my birthday, definitely for Christmas. Definitely for Christmas. Anyway, this is the look. I have my Kurt Geiger purse. It's not a Fendi, but it, it'll do. It'll do. I also realized I need a chocolate bag. You know what would have been cute with this outfit? Um, I think it's called Cease. Cease Protect Black People Purse. I was trying to get it, but it's always out of stock. That would have been perfect. I, let me get on that. Anyway, let me get out of here. I'm already running late. Meow is going to kill me. Love you. It's coming, Mama. It's coming. I told y'all. I know famous people. Also, guys, look at this. What? What, what is this? <laughs> Come on, Pasadena. I'ma try it. I'ma try it. We gonna see if it's about something. It better be. I paid for it. Um. So of course we had to make a stop here. Of course. <laughs> it's the candle sale. because it feels so good to me you know what else feels good catching up with really good friends i had a great time at brunch with my friend miata you know her as dry time genius <laughs> but we had a really good time this is my pumpkin smoothie that i made yesterday still had a lot left over because my family is not really into pumpkin spice like me like i'm the only pumpkin spice hoe in my family so It's so good. Um, so I'm gonna finish that. While we were at brunch, Miata and I were talking about um, the Bath and Body Works sale that's happening right now. Buy two candles, get two candles free. We were talking about it so much, we left brunch and drove straight to Bath and Body Works and got some candles. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, I actually got two of these candles, which is the Eucalyptus Mint. Bam, hope you can see it. I hope you can see oh, my freaking puff shoulders. It smells just like the name, eucalyptus mint. You get that um, eucalyptus mint flavor in this candle scent. I said flavor, scent within this candle. It's so good. It's fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, and a dash of lemon zest. So good. I uh, burned this one in my bathroom. I know I have my home candle in there right now, but I'm going to switch it out with this one just because I, I favor this. Um, over the home scent that I have. But I normally uh, like this scent when I'm taking like one of my, you know, lavender soaking baths. This is a scent you put in your bathroom when you're taking a soothing bath. It does what it needs to do. My favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. Just because it's so soothing and fragrant, none of the candles are as fragrant as this one. You know what? I do have an exception and I'll get to it. But this one right here, fragrant, lovely scent, soothing, highly recommend. Bath and Body Works, eucalyptus, <laughs> eucalyptus, eucalyptus mint. Love it. So I got two of these. The other one my mother took from me, she's burning it in um, 
the living room because it's my mother's favorite scent. It's my little sister's favorite scent and it's my favorite scent. So when we go to the candle sale that they have once a year, we go brazy with this candle. It's like 40 of them that come into this home. So yeah, she stole this one from me, but I still was able to keep one. Next up is another favorite scent. Not this one. This one, Champagne Toast. I got it in the actual holiday um, canister holder, candle holder or whatever. Uh, because normally it's just like plain. It's, it looks just like my eucalyptus mint candle, but it's in pink. But for some reason this year, they have this candle out in their holiday uh, clothing. Holiday, what is it? <laughs> holiday collection clothing yeah, whatever it's called, but they have it in this, uh, one of my favorite candles as well. I burn this in my room, especially during the springtime. I have a holiday candle that I'm burning in here now. That's my pumpkin one, but this one I'm going to keep in my room. I just love it. I think I may burn it through, um, through the holiday. When I'm finished with that candle, this may be my holiday candle just because the, um, winter candy apple candle Bath and Body Works candle is not as strong as the Winter Candy Apple lotion or the body scent, which I love if you, you know, if you follow me for a long time, you know, I love Winter Candy Apple, but the candle is not strong at all. Champagne Toast is pretty strong. Eucalyptus Mint is the strongest of the strong, but Winter Candy Apple, one does not smell like the body spray or lotion, and it is not a strong candle scent, but Champagne Toast is, love it. It's very sweet. It's a scented candle made with bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine, and natural essential oil. So those are the fragrance notes. Um, champagne, bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine, and natural essential oils. One of my faves, so good. Now, this is a new one for me. I got the holiday candle. Hope you can see it. This is a new one. I'm trying it out. I wanted the holiday candle, something to burn during the Christmas season. And this is what I went with. I love the packaging and I love the scent. It, uh, the fragrance notes are red cinnamon stick, crispy, crispy, Christmas clove buds, brown nutmeg with natural essential oils. And this one is a strong one because I said that eucalyptus mint is a strong candle. This one, I can smell it with the top on. It's a strong one. So you might not even need to burn this. Ooh, strong just white just a basic white candle but the fragrance notes are in this one really cute very strong candle gonna see like it smells good I'm gonna see if the fragrance changes when I burn it um hopefully I like it I like it so far but those are my candles from the candle cell I only I could have done more but I'm waiting for the candle cell the huge candle cell that happens the beginning of December that's one that I'm really looking forward to, but I wanted to take advantage of this sale since I'm burning candles all throughout the holiday season. So that is what I got. Now what I want to do is lay down because remember I told you guys I was having like these headaches and I don't know if it's my cycle or if I'm stressed, whatever it may be, but I'm still dealing with that. So what I'm going to do is lay down because I had some running around to do. I was going to hit up Marshall's, of course, um, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to take a break lay down, finish Squid Game, finish that, and uh, hopefully that helps. If I still have this uh, headache that is not going away yet, I think I may go to urgent care. Because, you know, it's a pain in my head area, so I don't want to play with that, but we'll see. You know, sometimes it's just you need to rest. Maybe it's a bit of stress. Maybe it's the, you know, the woman part of my body telling me that something's on its way. You never know but you also don't want to play with it. So I'm going to rest and if it persists, then I'll um, do what I need to do because I have insurance and I'm going to use it. <laughs> so anyway, let me rest and um, check back with you. My best friend is in town, so I might go meet up with him if I'm not in urgent care. So we'll see. You might see that. If not, this may be where the vlog ends. Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> so that was a very refreshing nap. I'm glad that I did it. Um, I don't feel as much pain as I did before. So as of right now, there's no urgent care. But um, I did talk to my little sister and she says that she gets these kind of headaches a lot. And she was just like, she just thinks it's a stress headache. 
and that maybe, you know, I should spend less time looking at my phone and my computer, give my eyes a break, let my brain rest. So what I did by taking that, I think six hour long nap, because it did the trick that maybe that's probably something that I'm dealing with. So I'm going to take that to heart, you know what I mean? And do a few changes since that nap really helped me out. If it persists, I'm definitely gonna, you know, do what I need to do to take care of that. But yeah, I think maybe I have been spending a lot of time on the screen, which is great that I am about to get away to get to Atlanta because for some reason in Atlanta, I can just rest. I can just rest. For some reason, LA is just all work to me and I never really slow down here. I never really rest here because every moment is work. In Atlanta, I can work as well, but there's something about that place where I'm just able to rest. That's something I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of when I uh, get out of here. But yeah, so feeling a little bit better. Um, have some good news. Remember that squirrel that I told you guys about early in the week that I saw at Bath and Body Works? Well, baby, they found it. They found it. I went back today <clears throat> and they told me that they had like one left and they sold it this morning for this uh, little girl's quinceanera. And I was like, oh, okay. But they were like, you know what? We might have one in the back. So they were checking for me, but I guess it was so deep in the sock. They just was like, you know what? If we find it, we'll give you a call and you can come and pick it up. But right now it's just taking us way too long to look for it. And we don't want you to wait. Come back here, take my nap, wake up, check my voicemail, which I probably shouldn't have did, but I'm glad I did. Cause I got right back on my, you know, phone screen when I probably should not have, but I'm glad I did because I got a message from uh, the manager at Bath and Body Works who said that they found my squirrel. So that's where I'm going today. I'm going uh, tonight, I'm gonna go pick it up and I'm gonna meet with my bestie tomorrow. We're gonna go to Hamburger Mary. So I wanna spend the rest of the night after I get my squirrel, just resting. I might watch Halloween Kills if I can convince my mom to watch it. Might, if not, I'm just gonna finish Squid Game cause I can't watch scary movies by myself for some reason. <laughs> It has to, I have to like watch it with somebody who is like just as into horror as I am or will at least tolerate horror. So if she doesn't want to watch it with me, I'll just finish a squid game and probably get to bed a bit more early than normal. But yeah, I'm doing good on my way to get my squirrel. I can't wait to show you guys. And I got to pick up the mail because I got some packages in the mail. So I'll show you all when I get back. Nice. <laughs> that was a good nap. I think I need to do that more often. You know, why do we stop napping when we got older? Like remember in school when we were required to take a nap? I think I need to bring that back as an adult because I feel so refreshed. Yeah, I'm bringing napping back. Anyway, let me get out of here. I'm running you four page letter, four page and I can close it with the kiss. Whoa, whoa. And when I write you, when I write you, do better, get it on time. <laughs> anyway, I'm back. I'm back from BFM Body Works. So that I made a quick little stop at um, the market to get some beef steak potatoes because I made a pesto and I want to have um, a pesto tomato balsamic vinaigrette salad. Basically, uh, caprese without the caprese. <coughs> It might be some Capri, but not no say. So, cause I'm trying to cut out dairy. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. That might be lunch or I might have it with dinner. Who knows? Cause I'm going to go to Hamburger Mary's tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to be back in enough time for dinner cause my dinner plans may change. So we'll see. So I'll probably have it for lunch before I head out to Hamburger Mary's because I enjoy the shows. Hate the food. I'm so sorry, Hamburger Mary's. The food is not good. It's not, and it's only the one in West Hollywood. I haven't been to the one in Long Beach and I have not been to the one in Philly, but the one in West Hollywood, you're there for the entertainment and that's it. Gotta tell the truth and what? Shame the devil. So anyway, let me get into my packages that I picked up. Oh crap, where are my scissors? Oh, I don't need them. Amazon. I don't need them. Oh, good. These are actually my um, luggage coverers. I had I got this really cute hologram luggage that I want to protect the outside of it because it's cute and I like it and I want to keep it for a while. So I got these 
of luggage protectors from Amazon. I got a full little cute set. <laughs> I'll show you how it looks when I put it on my luggage. But yeah, these were like $9.99. Put them over my luggage, protects them, don't get beat up. Have a little Velcro thing at the bottom that's able to clip at the bottom. And you know, I've traveled so far with just my um, carry-on that I've put this on and it's been fine. I don't know how my luggage is going to do when I check them. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see when I take this trip to Atlanta. But uh, I highly recommend these. My sister who travels a lot for work, she has these and you know, her luggage has been pristine. One time they came back a little destroyed. <laughs> So she had to get some new ones, but um, for the majority of her travel, this works. This works. So I got this one. Wow. 24. 24 inches. And then this one has to be my midsize, for my midsize luggage. Yeah, it is. It's for my midsize luggage. Let's see. All righty. Ah, here we go. This is, it may be for, wait, is this, for, oh, this is for my bigger one. That was for my mid-size luggage. This is for the bigger one. 28 inches. Yeah. So I'll show you what they look like when I put them on later in the week. When I head out of here to greener pastures. Now let's get into why we're really here. <laughs> The Piazza the Resistance, whatever it's called, uh, the bell of the ball, my heart, my squirrel, bath and body works candle holder, also known as a pet candle pedestal, just call it a candle holder, bath and body works, but she's here, she's here, da 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 da, -da. isn't she lovely, isn't she wonderful? Beautiful Cornisha. No, Cornisha. No, because you're eating an acorn. Is that an acorn or a chestnut? Cornisha. I like Cornisha. Cornisha the squirrel. Hey guys, welcome Cornisha the squirrel. She's a part of um, my Bath and Body Works candle holder, also known as pedestal family. I have the, um, the silver glitter candle abra that they had years ago i have that one i have my other bedazzled candle holder right here which i'll show you here uh this is another one and then i have my pumpkin which is in the living room and i don't feel like doing all that but uh now i have four i don't know what they're going to come out with for christmas i'm anxiously awaiting that candle holder oh i gotta clean this off you can tell i haven't used this in a minute ciao Expose me, why not? Exposing me on camera. Anyway, I don't know what they're coming out for Christmas. I'm anxiously awaiting that one, but I'm probably going to get it. There is another uh, globe, pedestal globe, but it's like a fox. And it's more like a, um, a traditional snow globe, so it's not really my kind of thing. I can't really get into snow, globe, snow globes, but I can get into this. I can get into Cornisha the candle holder and they also have a huge one that is a turkey um I, I just think it for me it'll be a waste of time because we're not turkey people get on to me like there will never be a turkey at my thanksgiving dinner uh, you know my husband may want one whoever he may be um so maybe i'll do that but as for right now me and my family we do like chicken and steak for thanksgiving we don't do any other meat so we are we'll never have a turkey at our thanksgiving uh dinner table and so it doesn't make any sense to get it also it's kind of weird to have like a bird as like the centerpiece because that's like the symbol of thanksgiving when really as a family we celebrate indigenous people's appreciation day so it's more like that but i can understand why other people will get it but we're just not going to get that huge turkey candle holder it's like almost a hundred dollars not even worth it they also have a huge fox one I would get it, but I'm not really into the look of it. It's not really for me. It's the same little fox that they put in their snow globe. So I don't know if that fox is like a symbol of fall for them. I don't know what that is. And they also have a smaller one, a smaller uh, pedestal. And I think I'll put the pictures, the inserts of those in here if I can find them online. But yeah, this one spoke to me. 
This one spoke to me. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do for Christmas. What if it's like a Christmas star pedestal candle that like lights up and glitters? You know I have to get like five of them. But anyway, this is the one I got. This is Carnesia. And I put batteries in beautiful Carnesia. And there she goes. Isn't she so pretty? Look at Carnesia. Look at my baby go. She waited for me guys, she waited for me. So I walked in the store and I saw they already had another one out and I didn't know if this was Carnesia, right? So I kept my eyes on Carnesia cause she was on display. And I didn't know if it was Carnesia cause I was just like, you guys only told me that you had one left, but it turns out they actually had two. So one they took out of the box and they put on display to sell it. And the other one was my Carnesia. They had her on um, like right behind the cashier's section or whatever. Um, for a hold for me. So when I got up there after my mom went around and shopped and got her candles Oh, you know, I also have to get my eucalyptus mint candle from her Let me do that. Um, but she shopped and she got her candles doing the two by two get two free And then when she went up to pay I went up with her as well And I was like you guys have a hold for Nikki and they were like, oh, yes, we have a cold We have a hold for Nikki and I was like, thank God because I thought Carnesia was out there But I was watching that I was watching the one that they had on display because just in case I was gonna take off running and get that right off display and buy it. But Carnesia was on hold, sitting behind the cashier's counter or whatever, waiting for me. And I got her and I brought her home. She's so pretty. I'm so happy. I don't know why these things make me happy. I don't know. I, maybe it's just the this glitter. The I don't know, but I'm happy and I like it. I'm glad that I did it. So now what I'm going to do, oh, this is what Carnesia looks like when you put a candle on her. Look at my baby. Look at my baby with a candle on her. I love you, Carnesia. So now that I have my Carnesia, I think what I'm going to do is um, probably clean this because I am embarrassed. I didn't, I was not attending to this like I should have been. Um, then I'm just going to lay down. You know, like I said, I'm going to rest more, finish a squid game. And that's it. I think in the morning I wash my hair, um, probably wash some clothes, and then I'll head out to Hamburger Mary's um, to go uh, see the show and not eat anything <laughs> with my bestie who's in town. And then after that, we may do a dinner. I'll just come back and have my steak, my beef steak uh, salad, my Capri, not to say solid i think i may just do that we'll see how the day goes you know it always changes up for me i always say i'm this is what we have planned for the day and it never actually goes that way so we'll see we will see anyway um from me to you good night good night i'll see you in another vlog at hamburger mary's because i'm going to end this vlog right here i want to end this vlog right here for the rest of the week and then next week i'll vlog and i'll show you how that week goes but yeah this is the end for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first one. I, you know, I'm learning. I don't know really what you guys are looking for. So, um, I hope whatever it is that this happened and you enjoyed it and, um, that you'll come back for more. Love you guys. Have a good night. See you soon. Mwah. All right, Carnesia, let's go. It is time for you to do your thing.